Hi, welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 3. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 21 of Book 3. Now before I begin the presentation, we need some definitions. So the first thing is a segment of the circle. A segment of a circle is basically a circle defined by the circumference and a line that intersects the circle at two points. This line here, BD, is referred to as the base of the segment. Now another definition, angles in a segment. So we have our segment BAD, and we have a point A on the circumference of the circle. If we draw a line from A to D and A to B, the angle made by these two lines would be alpha. And again, BD is considered to be the base of the segment. So with these two definitions, we have that the proposition is, in a circle, the angles in the same segment are equal to one another. Or, in other words, if we have two angles defined by a point on the circle touching the base, so alpha and epsilon, this proposition states that alpha and epsilon are equal. Now to prove this, first let's draw the center of the circle F. Now FB, or BFD, excuse me, theta, is going to be equal to twice of alpha according to Proposition 20 of Book 3. Similarly, BED will be half of BFD, again by Proposition 20 of Book 3. So here we have theta is equal to 2 alpha, and it's also equal to 2 epsilon. Given these equalities, we have that epsilon is equal to alpha, or that the two angles in the same segment, alpha and epsilon, are equal. And this can be shown for any angle defined by a point on the segment BAD. And thus we have demonstrated this proposition. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.